uh, but now I, I'm going to stop talking about the race because if I keep talking about the race, I th I'm just going to lose. So instead, I'm going to talk about something, uh, a show, well, shows, multiple, that I've been watching. Um, and that is both Rise of the T. Did I talk about? No, I did not. <laughs> Sorry, I talked about it in the session that never was again. Another session I never was, uh, where I talk about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, but that's in the session three that I recorded before this that just did work because I played every every level again, um, and it wasn't conducive. Uh, but now we could talk about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Sorry, I, I thought I was going to have to start all over again. Uh, um... First, I'll start off with Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, because Rise is very good. Rise is very good. <laughs> uh, I believe everybody should do themselves a favor and watch Rise of the TMNT. Very good show. Uh, I love the characterization in every of, of everybody in that show. It is so, so, so good. Uh, Leonardo, great. Donatello, great. Raphael, great. Michelangelo, my favorite especially great. Um... They're just so nice. It's just so nice to see that kind of like that like very out of character characterization for all of them done so well. They're doing something completely new with those characters, and they and they do it extremely well. And I keep hitting rocks, and they keep just doing it extremely well. And I'm I'm just like so immensely like joy joyous. And I, I'm just, I just feel joyful to know that people who made that show had a lot of fun doing all of that for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And it, it delights me. It really does. I'm not saying that facetiously. Uh, it sound, I sound like this all the time. I, I worry I come off emotionless when I talk sometimes. Because sometimes I don't inflict tone. Well, I don't have tone inflections sometimes and then i worry that i might like not actually have any emotion at all which is a weird thing to worry about uh because obviously i do but you couldn't tell me that do not go in the power oh stop jet Oh, this is the third lap? Oh, well, that's not happening. 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 Let me just retry all of this. Uh, but yeah, I like Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles a lot. It's very, very good. I like what they did with some of the characters that like already existed, and I like some of the, the new ones. If they're new, I, I'd have to, like, go back and look and see if some of them are new and some of them are like already pre-existing but never got a chance to really be on the show uh because I've, I've just been on that on that kick of re-watching a bunch of teenage mutant ninja turtles media because that because just because i like i like them a lot um <clears throat> and whatnot and yeah oh, oh. yep let's make the ramp <clears throat> uh and uh it's so fun. I like how one of one of the the villains are like Baxter Stockman and what have you. He's just like this just like little kid genius, this little shit. And he's also like a, a YouTuber, which I think is pretty funny. Uh, I like what's his name? Meat Chops? The 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 Gordon Ramsay parody guy. The Gordon Ramsay parody guy is so funny to me. <laughs> great britain in it um he's so funny i love i love him and how murderous he is and but how at the same time he wants his food to always be the best it can be which i think is really funny a real fun dichotomy to have it's like you know i i murder people but like you know i want i want you know my food to be at least decent enough why at the third lap or at the second lap, does everyone want to get ahead of me? Like, I don't get it. 
it's like why didn't you do that beforehand we already know the rules with sonic riders if you know <clears throat> if the first lap goes bad you're destined to lose like i don't i don't get how you don't understand that do bet do good the first time in this game you can't do good the second or the third time Oh, don't hit rocks. I keep hitting rocks. Oh, I'm hitting rocks so much. I lost this race. Or should I keep trying? I lost this race. <clears throat> Let me readjust my chair and everything. Uh, I'm stretching. I'm stretching right now. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, what else do I like about Rise? Oh, I like the Capybara, the little Capybara guy. I forgot his name. It's not Kevin, but it's a it's a very basic ass name. It's something along the lines of Kevin, and he's just like this fun little guy who has like just a bunch of dogs that he adopts and is like, I make lemonade, and I'm like, all right, you make lemonade. I'm so happy for you, bud. <laughs> cool. Should have done that. Why, why is that like that? I don't like the... Dude, hello. Knuckles the Echidna. You've ruined my whole perfect... Alright. Well, what else do I like about Rise? Uh, oh, April. April's just kind of like this chaotic energy, which is nice. Uh, I like that. Because uh, I'm also watching uh, the TMNT 2012... Uh, through Netflix, like I'm watching Rise through Netflix. Um, and the contrast between most of the characters are like night and days. Night and days. Yeah, multiple days. Uh, night and day. Uh, some of them kind of retain the same energy. Uh, and others are like completely different. Which is fine. Um, but I, I like comparing both of them together. And I'm just going to start this over again. This is incredibly annoying to a degree i'm not gonna lie it is sonic riders has a way of really upsetting me but like upsetting me in ways that like truly don't actually matter and at all and that's i don't even know what that means or how can i explain that it's just annoying when stuff happens when i when i literally try my best this game doesn't have a difficulty. It stop that. If I keep hitting rocks one more time. Okay, finally. I have to do good on the first one or I'm not going to do good at all. That's just how it that's just how it is in Sonic Riders. That's just how it is in Sonic Riders. I don't make the rules. The game made the rules. Uh, wait, if I can make the rail, no, I should probably take the fly route if I don't make the rail in time. Well, I'm about to get air right now, Jet, so you don't need to worry about being in danger of not having air. Second place. I'm about to be like, did you take the rail the time I didn't? That would have. That would have been sucky to do, Sonic. Oh, I'm, I didn't need to take a pit stop. Okay, come on. Oh, what else do I like about Rise? Oh, the voice acting. Very, very good. Just, I love good voice acting when it comes to anything. Good voice acting can get you a... a a pretty good way um uh don't even try that uh i probably should have went to the fly route like i literally stated earlier that's why because knuckles are gonna get in front of me what's your what's your problem what's your issue what's your deal what's your deal knuckles did i do something to you again i should have taken the the rail like I usually do. 
I'm just afraid that I'm... Oh, wow. It's the third lap. Uh, let's talk about Rise again so I could not feel the pain of loss. Uh, <laughs> and... Uh, what else? The, I already talked about the voice. No, I didn't talk about the voice acting. I got distracted by this game and its ways of tricking me into thinking that I have security over my win and then pulling the rug under me and being like, haha, actually, you fucking piece of shit. No, you don't. And I'm like, that's cool. You tell that to yourself. You, you keep telling that to me and I will absolutely do nothing because you're a video game and I don't I don't care enough um you're 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 literally like I can literally cut this game off like I, I don't like I don't feel for anything I can literally turn this game off I can literally quit right now you want me to quit I won't for the sake of the let's play but I, but like to spite this game I could just not play it I could just not play I could just absolutely turn this whole game off and then I could hear the rats and the birds of this game uh, by the name of Sonic and Jet and Knuckles and Tails and Amy and Wave and Swallow uh, all scream in actual agony as I press the off button on my PlayStation 2. And they're like, no! And I'm like, well, this is what you get. You shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done that to me. Maybe if you cared. Maybe if you were a bit nicer. I wouldn't have to do this to you. And then they beg for forgiveness. And I said, no, you don't get my forgiveness. And then I just turn everything off. And that's the end of that. That wasn't even a joke. I could just absolutely not have this game on. Oh, I'm running out of air so bad. Come on, come on. Oh, well, it's a little too late to do the ramp thing. Uh, Knuckles, do not... No, Knuckles, you will... I... Listen, thanks. No, what did I just say? I said, listen, Knuckles, no, you're not getting that from me, and now you're getting it from me. Do not hit rocks. Jet, do not hit rocks. That would actually... You hit rocks, didn't you? You hit rocks, didn't you? Why do I keep hitting rocks? Stop hitting rocks, Jet. Stop hitting rocks, okay? You can't just keep hitting rocks. You're a bird. You fly. If you fly fast enough downward, sometimes you're not going to land. You're going to hit a rock. And when you hit a rock, Jet, as a bird, how would that feel, hitting the rock? How would you feel hitting the rock? Would you feel at all like, you know, you feel accomplished? How does that... I thought that shortcut was supposed to, like, put me above ground, but I don't know what that shortcut does. Oh, I'm in third place again? Cool. I didn't even have to see the numbers to know I'm in third place. All these tracks are difficult to do. They're so annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Now, luckily there's no rocks to hit in this part of the stage. But knowing Jet, he'd probably hit some more rocks, so. Oh, well he didn't hit a rock, but he hit a wall. Which is all, not the same thing, but that wall, that wall, that wall was made of rocks, so. You know, I guess by proxy, he is hitting the rocks. I never turn so fast on that. Oh my god, do not go to the power. Oh, come on. Get me from third. Get me from third and put me into first. Come on, do it. You know I deserve it. I've been doing this for too long. This is it gets annoying after a while. You have to understand. You have to understand Sonic Riders, this this hurts me to do. Knuckles, find your way out of this A, B, and C conversation. There is no D in the alphabet, okay? Fuck you. 
Fuck, I'm hitting rocks. I'm hitting rocks. I'm hitting rocks. I'll do it. I'll do it, Sonic crew. Sonic team. Sonic and friends. I'll do it. I'll press the quit button, and I'll be none the wiser. I'm sorry, you'll be none the wiser. I'm making an, a threat. That's not an empty threat. However, when you mess up on your own threat, even though you're going to do the threat anyway, it comes off of just a little bit amateurish. Uh, note to self when it comes to let's plays and how difficult they can be and quitting a game for the sake of comedy uh hoping that people find that little 30 second intermission entertaining in a video um side note okay i guess i'm i guess i'm wrong